Hello, welcome back. Today I've got possibly my favourite piece of gear in the world. It is the Fender Mustang Micro. So this thing I've taken everywhere. Every gig I've been on I've taken this just in case I need to learn any last minute songs. But primarily this has changed my playing so much. I used to just not play in the house. I only used to play when I was gigging um, or for work. And now I play in the house quite often and it's down to this little machine. Headphone amps have always notoriously been pretty naff. This one actually sounds amazing. It's under £100 and it has multiple features that some don't have. Today I'm not going to do, I'm not doing like a review of it because I think it's a 10 anyway so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to play through some sounds, play through some of my favourite things. Um, I don't know everything about this either. I've got the manual up so I can have a look to see what sounds are actually there. I would highly recommend if you're practicing in the house. Um, the big deal for me is that you can plug your in-ears into the input jack and you can Bluetooth your audio from elsewhere so you can use your laptop, your phone and if I'm in the house, I'll put my phone. Just had a quick look back at the footage and there was some issues with um, the audio towards the end of that clip. I was basically just saying that you can Bluetooth it from your phone you can Bluetooth it from your Mac or anything else, and you can basically play the music in your ears, any click tracks, anything from Spotify, and then you can play with the sounds that you've got from within the Mustang Micro. Um, it's a great thing, and um, what I was about to say was, let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Okay, so the plan is now I'm just going to take a USB C cable and plug it into the bottom of the Mustang Micro, and I'm going to plug that straight into the Mac and run it through Logic to record the audio. It actually acts as a audio interface as well. Uh, you can run it DI, and then you can run run your plugins uh, from your door. It's got to be plugged in, obviously. Duh. I've used it like once for this feature as an audio interface, so don't really know. What I'm doing. Here we go. Okay, so I've got the manual here. This is a 65 twin and a compressor. I have got a reverb on. What have I got on? Um, a large hall reverb I've got. <laughs> So it says that the modify, when it's violet, it's bypassed. Oh, that's cool. I never knew that. <laughs> and then as you go up, then the more you get. It goes violet, blue, green, white, yellow, red. So that's the most you can get for the large hall. like that. I'm going to move on to the red amp in my head. It's a 65 Deluxe. No compression. I'll take the hall down a little bit as well. I like this one a lot. I use this for quite a lot of clean stuff. We'll go through the effects after. I'm going to try and just stick with one verb and go through the amps. This is a 57 twin, priced for a clean to dirty versatility. So if I change the EQ on here, it'll if I go more towards the red, I'm guessing it'll break up a bit. <laughs> Cleanest variation. 
combination. Nice. Uh, next one is a 60s British, which is Vox AC30. That's the cleanest. Next one is a 65 Deluxe but with a Tube Screamer in front of it, so... We've got a 70s British which is inspired by a late 60s, early 70s Marshall Super Lead. based on a Mesa dual rectifier, which, oh god. That's the cleanest it goes. channel of the Friedman BE100. Okay, so now I'm going to go through some of the effects. I'm going to use the 65 Deluxe, which is red, and I'm going to put the modify on red so you can hear the most of the effect, and then I'm going to go through the effects. So white is a large hall reverb, which you've already heard. <laughs> This one is red, it's a 65 spring reverb. We've got a modulated large reverb on green. So I'm going to use the 65 Deluxe with the green box or the... Turn the modify down to white. and a large room reverb, this is on its fuller setting. Yellow, this is triangle flange and a large room reverb. Nice. I'm going to 
switch over now to my acoustic so I can give you some acoustic tones through the DI channel that it has. Okay, you might not have seen this on the channel before, but this is my Martin something. I'll put it up on the screen, so I don't know. It has a Fishman preamp and it's not the best, but it sounds okay. It does it's good enough for gigs, put it that way. Um but yeah, this thing sounds great. the Mustang Micro. I've always been impressed with this thing. Like I say, I'll put a description below. If you want to have a look at it, you can buy it in most places. So I'll put a link down below. My downsides, they're really small to be honest. I've had this for years. This thing seems like it could be flimsy. I've never had a problem. I'm really not bothered about my gear. Um, I sling my gear into the back of the car. I thought about, um, at the end of the day, they are tools for the trade. So I just chuck mine about willy-nilly and it's still absolutely fine. I genuinely think it's one of the top things that you can buy to take your plane to the next level. Nobody ever wants to have to make a big setup in the house and then pack down afterwards. It's like a 20 minute setup and then a 20 minute pack down. It's not ideal, but this thing has saved me so many times. And if I'm going through songs for gigs coming up, I'll go through them first on here. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you have any experience with the Fender Mustang Micro. I'd love to hear all about it. And if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, uh, it looks like around about 95% of people aren't subscribed to watch. So if you could, that'd be amazing. I really appreciate it. And um, you can always support the channel down below as well in the description. Until next time, take care and all the best.